okay, what I was going to say before I was so rudely cut off by my camera being a dick. <sighs> We're going to talk about the price of this. I looked at the price of this. <laughs> yeah, the, the price of this. $235. Excuse me? Is this shit made of gold? Um, my, my gold, my gold jewelry costs less than this. Like, I've got real jewelry. Sapphire, gold, and Swarovski crystal that costs less than this. Like, the fuck? This is one ounce, and they want you to, to, they want to charge you two hundred and thirty five dollars if i'm gonna spend that money on anything it's gonna be a tom ford fragrance actually no offense my one ounce tom ford fragrance to replace it would only cost me 155 dollars. so even my fragrance a fragrance my fragrance of the same side same size with that has even rarer oils in it would still cost me Unless, like, explain to me what the hell makes this two hundred and thirty-five dollars? Because I'm, um, I'm not seeing anything in there. Raspberry, comfrey, bird of paradise, white tea. I'm not seeing anything in here that makes this two hundred and thirty-five dollars. My lawn comb. So the biggest bottle of the lawn comb Genifique serum that you can get costs less than this. If I'm going to pay that much for skincare, I'm going to buy that. Where I'm going to get more value for my money. It is also an anti-aging skincare product that basically does the same thing that this. I'm like... And doesn't have all that floral bullshit in it that I'm allergic to. Like, what? What the fuck do they think this is? La Mer. By the way, not that La Mer is any better. I've tried La Mer. Um, and honestly, honestly, that is the nastiest smelling skincare. The most overrated skincare. Like, expensive skincare. I cannot believe that everybody's all hyped about La Mer. Like, screw La Mer. There are, there are better products that are way more affordable that do the same fucking thing. So, you're paying for that name. Like, but hey, whatever. People are like, oh, if it costs more, it's better. No, the fuck it's not. No, the fuck it's not. I bet you if you, I bet you if you go look at its parent company, that it is probably owned by a parent company that makes similar products that, um, because most parent companies share their formulations across their portfolio. So its parent company probably owns another brand that's got a similar formal formulation because they share their formulations that's way less. But yeah, yeah, no. That that's in, that's insane. Like that's no. Last but not least, this is a sample. I decided to get like a little add-on sample. So this is Biro, New York. This is either a little, this is a brand I've been getting into and trying. And I'm like the, I have the fig oil and something. And then I have like, I have the purple Toner? I think the purple is the toner. This is a serum. This is the Beat Glow Boosting Serum. It's PHA 7%, which means, <laughs> which means um, don't want to use this during the day without an SPF. So this will be something I use at night specifically. But I do want to know, see what it smells like. I wonder if it doesn't smell, at least I don't think it smells bad. We're gonna put it. I'm gonna see. 
be that feels nice. Actually, it actually doesn't have it doesn't have much of a smell. I will tell you what, a little goes a long way because I just put like a couple dabs on my arm and I literally just like did like the whole back of my arm and my hand. Yeah, it's not, it's not super strong at all. Well, like whatever that's, I don't know what's in it because it doesn't have ingredients on it. I'm going to have to go look, make sure it's not anything I'm allergic to, but I paid three fifty for this little guy, but you know what? Honestly, it's worth it. Because if I like it, I can just get the bigger one through Ipsy. I've been getting a lot of the Biro products, so I'm excited. If this one pans out, 